Oh, of course, yes, I do. You know, um, uh, there's no question about that. I, you know, um, you know, honestly, it's, it, you know, um, it's not really even in the the consciousness of my mind uh, uh, about that um, sort of thing. You know, I I, I just know, um, you know, look at, you know. Chris was highly sought after when he came here. It was a great indication of this organization that he wanted to come here because he could have gone anywhere he wanted. You know, he's been executive the year before, and you guys can try to diminish him all you want, but that's just your words. They have no substance to it because there's no truth in it. I mean, the guy's a winner, and, and, and he's been immensely successful. You know, no one's perfect in this game. We all lose a lot in this league. You know how many shots Michael Jordan's missed? You know how many games Michael Jordan's lost? <laughs> I mean, you know, th that's in this league, you know, it, it, it's tough. And, and, you know, sometimes you don't understand how fortunate you are when you're around success because you think that's the norm, but it's not. Now, now look, look, I, I want to... Choose my words carefully here. I mean no disrespect to Jim Irsay personally, but this is what happens. And this is one of the reasons I love the NFL. You've got these multi-billion dollar businesses finely tuned with the best state-of-the-art methods and techniques and, you know, every week trying to go out and win football games, millions of dollars coming through the coffers, a high-end operation. But they're all owned and operated by monarchies for the most part. Right. Somebody becomes rich enough to buy a team – once you're in, you don't need to worry about the balance sheet. The ends, you know, you, you don't have to worry about making ends meet, as Eddie Murphy once said. The ends are meeting like a mf -er. I mean, you, you, the money is everywhere. You're not going out of business in today's NFL. But the question is, you know, as the teams get handed from one generation to the next, does it land in the lap of somebody who has no business in that position? And I'm sorry, Chris, Jim Ursay. Whatever the reason, whatever the cause, whatever the explanation, whatever it is, you boil it down. Just listen to that snippet. This yeah, is it's not all, someone it's all who over. should be owning a multi-billion dollar operation in any industry. And and that's what I love about it. It it adds this reality show drama on top of everything else about football. Everything else about it that makes it great and fascinating and compelling. The teams are owned by these families that eventually are going to hand the keys to somebody who doesn't know how to drive the car. That, that to me, makes it – there's nothing like it. I know all pro sports are like that in America, but there's just something about that dynamic in football that makes it stand out even more. Well, I, I know. I, it, it's, it, it is. It, it is amazing, you know. And to your point – Here's a guy that, yeah, maybe doesn't know how to drive the car, but the damn car kind of gets back into the driveway every night at the end of the night. <laughs> kind of gets there. It's like the Wolf of Wall Street. He kind of he might have hit some cars on the side of the well, road, and, well, and maybe well, even had some. Of the, maybe he, even likes to do thought, some of those activities there yeah. allegedly. Okay, he, but <laughs> he thought he thought it went better than it actually yeah, did. Exactly. Though. But either way, yeah. even with all that, he's had the brains to hire a Chris Ballard and. They've been in the picture for a lot of these years over the last 20 years. It, it's amazing. And, and again, that's top, where I'm a little shocked the by the whole thing. It, the top quartile. <laughs> exactly. It, it, it's just, but, but it, that's where I'm shocked by this. It, it, to me, it wasn't, even though this year was disappointing and not great, it, this wasn't like this whole thing was a total disaster. And that's where it makes me think, too, was, like, was there something just, you know, something personal to Frank Reich. Was there one certain move that he made or vouched for that really got him on the wrong side with Jim Ursay? Because I don't know. Carson you know, Wentz. I guess Carson it seems Wentz. like it, it right? That's Carson where I'm Wentz. going. It has to be. That's where I'm going with this just because how can Chris Ballard be, you know, winner, 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 which I agree with, but Frank Reich be loser, 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 loser. We got to fire him right now. There, there's somewhere in between there. Come on. That, that's, that's not fair. It's not, and and that's where it's all just weird to me. But, yeah, it, it does seem like that. That's what I think of, too. Like, is he still mad at him about the Carson Wentz thing? And, and it seems almost personal that way. 
So, and and then also, you know, butting in on maybe the Matt Ryan, Sam Ellinger thing, which I don't know what the hell happened there now. I'm, I don't know. I, I really don't. I'm confused by what Ursay said yesterday, and that's thrown me off track, even though people I trust and believe all think it's about the business and the money stuff. So, um, it, this is a, the best reality show we could talk about right now. And look, when I saw Ursay say Monday night that Chris Ballard will be back next year, I immediately thought of what he told Chris Mortensen of ESPN eight days earlier, that both Frank Reich and Chris Ballard would stay in place and that he said it, quote, rather emphatically. So this is a guy who on any given day can roll out of bed and change his mind. And and again, at times we we say that the Packers are missing that element because it brings real accountability, creativity and innovation. This is a week where if you're a Packers fan, you're probably saying, hey, if our one owner who can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants, could be anything like Jim Irsay, we're fine with a 40-person board of directors and and a CEO that never makes a sudden move. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. This, they, could, they could point to this, certainly. You yeah. know, I mean, yeah, sure. But, yeah, again, you can say what you want. The Colts have – have been in the conversation a lot and done a really know, lot of really good things. You know? Well, so have the Packers. I so know, pa- Packers have as many Super Bowl. Yeah. Packers have more Super Bowl wins I, over the last thirty years than I, the Colts. I, I get you. Yeah, I, I hear you. You know, but it, it hasn't been totally horrible there. And Chris Ballard, yeah, he's been phenomenal. I mean, I, uh, again, they have a top five defense in football. He drafted guys like Darius Leonard, where people weren't sure what that was going to be, and. He's one of the best linebackers in football. Makes a big move for DeForest Buckner. Yeah, built that offensive line. That was special. And they couldn't capitalize on it, mainly because Andrew Luck left. And, yeah, did they maybe misevaluate how good it was going to be coming into this year? Sure. A lot of us did. We all did. I did. Sure. I did. I, I did. Yeah. I had them so, as AFC finalists. I had them hanging another AFC finalist banner this year. <laughs> oh, man. Above the upper quartile of the upper quartile. But that that's where, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, they messed that up a little bit. Ballard, he can be held accountable to that. But that, that's, again, I just where I'm shocked because it's not like things have totally fallen off the rails here in Indianapolis to where you think, wow, they got to blow this up and start over and start from scratch. One more. Yeah. I've already been told we have to take a break, so let's keep this as succinct as possible. How many wins does Jeff Saturday need in the final eight games to keep the job permanently? And in answering that question, factor in the possibility of zero, that he's already got it. But how many do you think he needs? Does he already have it? And if not, how many does he need? I, guess I, I don't think he already it. has it. I, I, I mean, I, I, I can't imagine that he does. I mean, geez, if, if I, you know, maybe I'll join you in that. Wow, things are totally crazy if he already has it. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.